Today, let's travel south on US 95 past Silver Springs. Located on the left next to the Carson River, we will find an old two story white station house. Behind this station house is a small patch of grass and our next clamper marker, the longest ride. The longest ride. In the spring of 1860, in the midst of the Pyramid Lake War, Robert Pony Bob Haslam left Friday Station, Lake Tahoe, with the eastbound mail and made his way toward Buckland Station. When Pony Bob reached the Carson River, 60 miles into his trip, he found that all the horses in the area had been seized for use in the war. He rode 15 miles further to Buckland Station on the nearly exhausted horse. Johnson Richardson, Pony Bob's relief rider at Buckland Station, refused to ride, fearful of possible attacks from the Paiutes. This was the only time a Pony Express rider refused to ride, and Richardson was rightfully branded as a coward. Within 10 minutes, Pony Bob was again back in the saddle. After passing through Carson Sink, Sand Springs, and Cold Springs, he covered 190 miles and turned the Mochila over to J.G. Kelly at Smith's Creek. After a nine-hour rest, Pony Bob received the westbound mail and began the return trip. The Cold Springs station had been raided, leaving a dead shopkeeper and no horses. He rode an additional 37 miles in the dark before he received a fresh horse at Sand Springs. It has been said that Pony Bob even rode right through the middle of a group of Paiutes heading in the same direction. He finally reached Buckland Station without a mishap, and within three and one-half hours of the scheduled time, Pony Bob then continued to ride his route back to Friday's station. The 380-mile round trip accomplished in just 36 hours would become the longest on record for the Pony Express. Dedicated July 25, 2015 by the Snowshoe Thompson Chapter 1827 of the Ancient and Honorable Order of Eclampus Vitus.